Hello there, I'm Alger Hill, and welcome back to some Hearts of Iron 4 Kaiserreich, playing, of course, as Yugoslavia. It's the 3rd of May, 1945, and we are preparing to do those sweet, sweet invasions in 27th of June. Oh, I'm excited. We've got a full, continuous border. I don't really see any actual, uh, like, troops on our border, because they're dealing with the French invasion. So we're going to desperately need to try and pile an invasion up as quickly as possible. We've got these 32 here. They're going to mush over that way. And then we got the 98 this way. They're going to mush as well. I just like the word mush. The fun word. All right, let's keep getting battlefield support. And we got our planes that are moving. I guess we're going to need to move these guys there because that land's completely taken. Uh, we'll move you. Let's move everyone here instead. There we go. We don't have a huge amount of planes, but we're doing okay. Actually, we still have like... We still have like 3,000 like 3, planes. Why the hell haven't we used them? I'm ashamed to my people. Ashamed to my people. Honestly. One, two, three, four. There we are. I can put like 600 more planes here. What the hell, Alger Hill? Come on. Alright. Where's my close air support? One, two. And 400 more fighters. Too sweet. Come on. There we are. Thankfully, the game is now loading much faster. I don't know what was happening, but uh, my, my, I had a bit of a computer issue, and it ended up, essentially, I had to restart my entire, like, I'm sorry, reinstall Windows, which was very distressing, I must say. Uh, but it's all fixed now, thankfully. Let's just, just uh, divide these guys into two. There we go. It's a bit better. Um, and it was having a lot of problems with my computer in general, but I'm glad it's a lot better now. I love that the border is almost exactly, um, look at this, the border is almost exactly the air zones. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my goodness, isn't that amazing? It's gorgeous. <laughs> um, political power-wise, we're doing fine, uh, equipment-wise, we're doing fine. We're getting paratroopers, which I should really begin to invest into now. In fact, I think maybe we should do that today rather than yesterday we are actually a little bit low on tanks um where's the tanky tank tank tanks no we're not the hell was that why was it saying it wasn't working there we go we'll just have the one um and we should definitely start making paratroopers and we need to give them the best of the best paratroopers all right, what's that song? It's roller coaster. It's Chili Peppers roller coaster. There we go. Okay, and we also want to make sure they have lots and lots of supports. Um, these guys still can. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. As long as they have support. Weirdly enough, you can have support artillery, and it still works. So when I started playing this game, actually, I was a little confused because I didn't quite understand how on earth support artillery worked for a paratroop regiment. But think. Well, then I watched Band of Brothers, and think about it. Support artillery is just mortars. And mortars are handheld. Support artillery doesn't actually mean proper artillery. It means um, handheld or at least soldier carried uh, mortars that you can you can put down to in place and provide covering support fire. Uh, we also definitely want to be working on marines because we are going to need to be invading Britain at some point. Also, carrier planes would be smart. <clears throat> We're going to get nukes soon, which would be great. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Where's, where's the, are paratrooper planes just normal? Yes, they are. That's fine. Sorry, I was panicked. All right. Send you guys to the top. The plot declared war in Chile. Nobody cares. Now, I should definitely be working on more ships as well, because I don't have ships. Where are my ships being built? Oh, they're in over there. That's not good, because I need them over here, so... Cool. <laughs> Let's send our entire navy up to here. Control right click to set as a new naval base. There you go. Rocketry efforts. Beautiful. And a new national focus. We don't really want to go democratic Bulgaria because we're not a scrub lord. Ooh, Yugoslavia wants to buy the HMS Lion. We still have means of pr producing larger ships. When we reach full capacity, our neighbor requires a flagship in the pride of our country. Overhaul an old Canadian cruiser. Come on. 
There you go. Okay. So let's um let's set our new fleets all to be here. We're building destroyers and light cruisers. Um and that's actually all we can build right now because we're we're not good at this game. <laughs> Cause we're not good at the game. Wow, that's steel though. Thank you, come again. And you know what? We should be building naval dockyards like crazy. There we go. You. Let's just cut down this infrastructure repair set. Direct ground support. Very nice. All right. Do I want air superiority mission efficiency or air generation? Yes. Air superiority mission efficiency, please. The justification's over, my friends. Here we goddamn go. Hmm. What's, what's this research bonus? Jet and rocket engine. Okay, it's fine. Okay. Are we ready? Let's do it. Declare war. Norway, Portugal, Ireland, Australasia, Iceland, Mongolia, Canada. French Re wait, French Republic as well? That's okay. I wonder if maybe we should wait for the HMS Lion event to finish before we do this war. Because I'd like to be able to do the HMS Lion. My worry is that they're getting killed really quickly, though. I'm going to be at war with, count with the comet. No, they're, I'm losing too much potential land. Oh, but I want the HMS Lion. Let's just see what happens. Maybe they'll get stopped. Or something. Doesn't seem like they're going to be. Move that away. Here we go. We don't. We don't. We don't need this line. You. Mount infantry. Do do. Let's see. All our doctrines are done. Oh wow, we're behind in artillery. Jesus. Right, let's just see if we can try and get that HMS line because I'd really like to have that. <clears throat> also, why am I not researching new ships? What is wrong with me? I am a dum dum. I don't even have submarines researched. Come on. Because if I'm going to try and fight, like, Great Britain, I'm going to need a big old navy. Just a just a big old navy. Oh, come on, guys. Don't die so quick. I want to buy the HMS Lion, and then I want to invade Russia. Oh, Jesus. Okay, they're holding at the river. They're holding at the river. I don't remember the name of this river, but they're holding at it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I only have 34 days. Wait, this expires on the 26th of August. So in one month and four... 30 days... Sorry. One month and four days. Which means I can't even finish this anyway. Ah, oh, screw this then. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, goody. Look at all these people we're at war with. Hello. I realize now what I'm probably going to want to do is to... Oh, Jesus. Oh, yeah, Canada, oh, yeah, Canada's dead anyway. Um, is to try and put some naval defenses, because otherwise Norway might invade the crap out of me. Look at this bit of Finland that it owns in Schwarzleg. What even is that? That's disgusting. That is offensive to me. All right, let's just rampage through. Oh, wow. La Plata has been destroyed. Oh no, La Plata killed Chile, rather. The Kingdom of Dahoney and Iceland. I'm sure I'll survive. Go away, I don't want your non-aggression packs. I don't care. I'm way more important than you and way more interesting. No, go away. Oh shit, didn't mean to do that. Ow. My steel. I'm just not giving so much stuff to France. Come on, lads. Let's go. Look at that. Not even not even controlling anything. They're just devouring land. How many troops does Russia actually have? Wow, they have less divisions than me. Why? That's so sad. 
They've got like no divisions. You, go this way. Jesus, look at this. Annihilating them. They don't even have a chance. I like it. I like my enemies not having chances. Yeah. I'm gonna keep this tank force back just in case. Just in case. You never know what might happen. Oh, baby. Hey, can you... Can you stop? Can you stop making a front line that we don't need? Please? Aw, oh, poor Russia. Look at this. Formation fighting. Oh, wait, was that a uh, naval invasion? Nope, just out of, just out of just out supply. Doesn't matter. Take Moscow! Moscow must be ours. Better yet, let's just cut the AI off. Yeah, cut them off. You don't get nice things. But this way we can try and take even way more of the land. Nice. Cut them off. Nuclear reactor. Alright, we can start getting nukes. <coughs> Ooh, my throat's getting a little horsey. A little horsey. Bye, HMS Lion. Okay, can, can I have it? M maybe. Build destroyers. Did I get it? Or... Doesn't seem like a, the fall of Moscow. A fast fire wiped out large portions of the city. Uh, no, not so, not so today when Yugoslavian forces broke the siege lines and conversion the Kremlin. They managed to continue to snipe the enemy from the high rises, but the main defenses are broken and are filtering out through suburbs into the surrounding forest. Red Square, long the center of Russian life in the city, has been turned into the makeshift POW camp, and burning debris was falling from the Kremlin windows, so no doubt a last-ditch effort to prevent Russian intelligence from falling into Yugoslavian hands. So was I, did I get... Did I get the ship, or...? No. Alright. Okay. They refuse. Yeah, I thought so. The Canadian Commonwealth refused to sell us an old battle cruiser. cruiser. We have to search for another solution. The Navy has come forward with a proposal to design a heavy cru curvy cruiser class ourselves. Oh well. So I think maybe I shouldn't have done that focus. I just wanted to see what happened. I probably should have done just that because I would have got one 50% bonus. That's okay. Alright, how close is Russia to giving up? Uh, pretty close. Just try and devour as much land as possible. Because any land we take, we get the direct ability to capture. But we took the capital, though, so it's okay. It's all for us. You just get the hell out of here. That's what you can do. I can't help but notice that the AI battle plan has just abandoned this front line. Alright. That's just peachy. Just peachy. Hey, what? What was I justifying then? Oh shit, 4th of November? Oh crap, I was justifying on Afghanistan? I don't remember that at all. Oh damn. I'm gonna start pulling troops back soon. They haven't invaded us anywhere, have they? God, we own a large amount of land. Holy shit. Oh shit, where are the French Republic? Why have you gone to the Chari Emirate? What is going on? What the? F <laughs> Why is there a front line to this country? They're just some random, random losers. No one cares about them. What's going on? Oh, it's the desert. Okay, we can't go that way. Go away, I don't want you on aggression packs. Right, when's that die? Uh, the 4th of November, so I have a couple months. Yeah, wipe them out. Alright, they're, they're about to capitulate. Yeah, there we go. <clears throat> Come along. There it is. What? They got the rest of it? 
Why did they surrender to them? I... That makes me very salty. Why on earth did they get it? Bullshit. They got that. Come on, man. What is this? Alright, fine. Be that way. Alright, let's assign this lovely front line over this way. 90 divisions. Let's go. You guys, half that way. Try and take Bukhara. Nah, screw Bukhara. Let's take Eva. And you go there. You 16 have a different general. Take there. And try and go to Tashkirat. Come along. Well, that's the problem. Come on. There we go. Then we'll just reposition and then we'll invade them in that way and take out Afghanistan. And then we can start doing the Bodiata Commune. Oh, that'd actually be really good because I would get so much population from that. That would actually be super great. Let's do that. So we'll take 125 days. That's okay. We don't really care. The Pla the Palatian War. Oh yes, Brazil, Martian Teeter, Federation of La Plata, Tetris and the Two Giants. A federal peace in South America is broken, and Brazilians are ready to serve revenge. Woo! All right, let's get some more ships. I need more ship types. Carriers. Let's go. I also need to start to make nuki nukes. Nuki nukes, nuki nukes, give me nuki nukes. That's what I want. I want nukes for days. I want there to be an unending number of nukes piling into the distance. I want to see nothing but ash. Let them be. Let them be kings of our charred bones and cooked meat. Bonus points in the comment section for anyone who manages to guess where that reference from. Reference is from. Alright, when does this expire? Oh no, please don't. Please, Windows. Windows appears to be trying to update. Can you please piss off, Windows? Better not try and update while I'm playing this right now. Are you serious? Are you serious? What are you preparing, Windows? I hope you guys- I'm sure you guys can't see that because I don't have- I have game capture, not screen capture on. But what are you doing, Windows? What are you doing? Please stop it. 36%? That's very disconcerting, I must say. And it's quite distressing. Alright, uh, oh, look at that, we have more dockyards. I'll just wait, because I don't really want this many weird ship types. Ooh, I need your ships, babe. Please give me some ships. Alright, come on. Da -da -da. You guys ready to invade? Because I am. Invade! Let's also, let's also start justifying on these scrub lords. Engage the enemy. Uh. You guys are right. There we go. If they hadn't called them in yet. Hooray! Annihilating the enemy without really any concern. The reason, of course, we want India is that sweet, sweet population. The billion people that live there. Come to Papa. Oh, nice, nice look at this. So I can just jump straight into the next heavy cruiser model. It would actually be better if I went light cruiser and then into the next heavy cruiser. That'd be good. Do that. <laughs> Gonna build some ships. Alright, wipe out the Afghanis. Build destroyers. Focus on submarines. Hmm. 
I can't help but notice that we don't seem to be destroying the enemy very quickly. Right. Yes. Show them who is the boss. I am the boss. I am the one, the one, the only. Oh, that's a stupid song. Don't you check for updates now, Windows. I will be very upset with you. So before Windows decides to crash my computer, I'm going to end the episode here as we destroy the Afghanistani alliance coalition thing that exists. Um, we are going to then prepare to invade into India to be able to unlock that sweet, sweet few million non-core population. It'll be really good. Make sure you check out all the other series on my channel. Do also leave me a like and a comment in the video. Let me know what you think of the series so far. Let me know what other things you'd like to see that I make. Because I'm making a lot of series types. And I'm really enjoying them. What other things you'd like to see? I was Algernon on TTV. And it's been Hearts Friend 4. Kai's a Reich playing Yugoslavia. Bye-bye.